In this SketchUp tutorial, I want to talk about how you would create windows and put them into your model. So we of course had the option of going to the 3D warehouse and getting these types of things, but there are times when you just want to make them yourself, then you have control over them, you can do custom things and uh, you know, things of that nature. So uh, this is the basic model uh, that we've been working with. So it's a very simple house, you put in a few archways, that type of thing. And now maybe we want to put some windows going around this building. And the first thing we need to do is actually create the window. So what we might do is, you know, create something that looks like this, a very, uh, you know, simple schematic type of window. I'm just going to uh, move these out of the way. I just use my selection arrow to select them and typed in M for move. And then we can start drawing in this area. There's a lot of ways to go about something like this, but if I would like to make a window, make it its own object and bring it in, it's probably a good idea to do it off to the side. Uh, I could certainly be drawing it on top of here, especially since I have my walls and floors grouped, uh, but this will work just fine. So I'm going to uh, come in and grab my rectangle tool. And what I'm going to do is actually draw flat on the ground. So I'm going to be drawing basically my window from the bottom up in this particular view. Um, I could be drawing it actually on the wall that way as well. That would be an option, but um, this is you know, one technique. So I'm going to pull my mouse out and I have to decide the dimensions here. So uh, I know how wide do I want my window ultimately to be? So maybe I'll say six feet, make kind of a large window. And then how deep is the window itself? And that's in terms of the wall thickness. My walls are six inches thick. So if I make this six inches, it'll be flush with the wall. So just for simplicity, I might do that for now. We can always use the push pull and make it deeper. So it's, it's certainly not like we're stuck. So I'll do six inches uh, deep and then six feet wide. So we're gonna get something that looks like this. This is basically the bottom of the window. Now if I use my push-pull tool, click on that face and pull up, I could make this perhaps four feet tall. So now I think it becomes clear that we're looking at the window here and this is the basic dimensions of it. So it's four feet by six feet and six inches uh, thick, really. You could you know, certainly come in and get as you know, elaborate with this as you want to. But basically what I'm going to do is maybe just use an offset and offset this edge in two inches. So that'll be giving me, you know, a basic frame going around. And I could, you know, come in maybe with my tape measure tool and if from the outside edge, perhaps come in um, 12 inches or something like that. I'll do that from each side. So this is where you get to be creative and make, you know, whatever you want. I'll come in again, maybe two from the guidelines in to each way. And then I could use either my line or my rectangle tool to kind of connect the dots there and give, uh, give myself some actual lines. And then let's type in E for the eraser and erase those guides. So I have something that looks like this. Okay, but really what I have are just lines on the front. The back is still solid. There are a lot of different techniques for this type of thing, but you know, one thing I could do is just use my push-pull tool and push through, I didn't quite make it there, push through in my window to get rid of those um, solid elements where my glass would be, because I don't really need glass that's six inches thick. That really doesn't make a lot of sense. So it's this glass block or something like that. So now I have the frame, okay? Now with that, I could actually come in and use my rectangle tool. And if I snap to, let's say the midpoint inside of my window frame here, so I'll have the end points and now I have a little midpoint right here. If I click here to create my first corner and then flip this around and get the opposite corner and click, now I essentially have a pane of glass in there. Okay, so I'll do that again. And we could go from either direction, uh, whichever works for what you 
what you've got going on. So I'll click here for my midpoint. And this rectangle is going to want to flip and turn in all sorts of directions. But when you get the appropriate midpoint, so when I get the one I'm actually looking for here, it will it will orient itself properly. That one. And one more. Here. Rotate around. And get this midpoint. Hit my space bar to get my selection tool. And now I have my basic window. Now you notice on this side, I don't have those division lines, and that's because we just did the push through, but I do have them on this side. I can leave them, I could add them to the other side, or I could just use my eraser and erase those little lines. Uh, that's totally up to you. It depends if you want to see those or not, um, you know, if those signify in any way how it's made or, or that type of thing. You can always add them later if you'd like to put them back in. So now we have a basic window. And if I just wanted to, you know, check my dimensions or something like that, I could certainly grab my dimension tool and check and see that, yep, that's six. And that's four. Okay, so I know that my dimensions are right, so I might just erase those. I don't really need those right now for anything. Okay, so now I have the actual window. What I'm going to do is triple click to select the entire window object, right click and say that I want to make that a group. That's really important. It's going to make it a whole lot easier to deal with. Otherwise, I'm going to have all these separate bits and pieces and it's going to be a lot harder to move in place. So just make group. Once we've created the window and grouped it, we need to create a hole in the wall for the window to actually go. The critical step here is that we need to get in and edit the group. If we don't, we won't actually be able to cut a hole in the wall like we did earlier. So I'm going to double click to edit my group. And then I can get in here and make the properly sized opening. I'm going to use my tape measure tool and create some guidelines. If I wanted this to be centered on this wall, for example, what I could do was select one of these edges. Either one would work. And then I can line it up with the midpoint and create a vertical guideline that's right in the center of the wall. Then I can click on the guideline and go in either direction. So I'll go out 36 inches to the right and 36 inches to the left. And that's because my window is six feet wide. And then I could come up from the bottom or top as well. Don't be confused by that dotted line that you're seeing right here. That's the, uh, the indication that we're in the edit group mode. So that's just the group box. So if I move around a little bit, we can see a little better. So then I could come either from the top or bottom, pick an edge, okay? And I can line it up with this midpoint. And then I can come up 24 inches and down, and this is just if I want it centered. We could be putting this in any location that we want to. Okay. Once I actually have my, my guidelines in place, I can come in with my drawing tools, create the profile that I'm interested in, and then use the push-pull tool and cut that out. There we go. So now we actually have a hole in our wall. We can get out of the edit group mode. I can go up to edit and say delete guides to get rid of all of those guides at once, or I could just erase them. And then we can grab this window and put it into place. What I might decide to do is actually make a copy of it. So I'll select this group, grab my move tool, hit the control key to activate the copy function, and I'll just make a copy of that. Then with the copy, I can come in and move it into place. So what I'm gonna do is grab this lower corner because I need to grab a base point that's easy to snap to in this opening. So I'm gonna grab this corner, and then I can come in, get a little closer, and snap that right into place. And now that that's there, you'll see that I have this group and this group. So they're two separate things. That makes it easy for me to grab and select them without having them be uh, intertwined. 
Okay, so that's the basics of putting a window into a wall opening.